And Gaffer, another huge performance from your players tonight. You must be delighted with what you saw. Yeah, very proud. Very proud of the, the effort of the group. Uh, it was a fantastic result tonight and um, I thought I thought the first half we played some really good stuff. Um, I thought we were excellent without the ball as well. Uh, and then second half showed a different side to us. We showed great character to, to stick in there, put our bodies on the line, keep a clean sheet. Um, so yeah, really pleased. You flew out the blocks and really set the tone in the first five, ten minutes. How important was that for you tonight? Yeah, it was vital, but I, I think the fans played a massive part in that as well. You know, as soon as the first tackle was in, you know, the, the Blues fans were up and it really got us through that first 10, 15 minutes, got us a goal. And, um, you know, tonight their all-round efforts from the, from the fans and the players was, uh, was second to none. You know, I couldn't be any more proud of the whole club. And it helps when you go in front after just four minutes. Austin Trustee will claim that he meant it, but I don't suppose you care, do you? No, not at all. All I know is that we put a lot of hard work into our set pieces. You know, Matt Gardner works uh, religiously on them all the time and it's, it's great to be getting the rewards now from them um, but yeah I'm ple really pleased for Trusty because he, he's been a magnificent performer hasn't he all season so far and to get another goal you know it'd be great for him mm. it's great and you continue to swarm them and make life difficult and uncomfortable for QPR tonight. And then Manny Longilo pops up with a, a right-footed finish into the bottom corner. He's had to, as you say, come into the club off the back of no pre-season and bide his time to break his way in. What have you made of, of how he's improved? He's been brilliant. You know, he's been brilliant considering he hasn't had any pre-season at all, really. A lot of injuries. And, and I know the most exciting thing for me is there's a lot more to come from him. You know, um, there's bits of his game which I wasn't too keen on tonight, you know, which he needs to improve on. But, I mean, now we've, we've got a, a superb player there and we're very lucky to have him. At 2-0 up it can be tricky because the next goal is a big one how do you approach it at half time? Just um, we just say listen we, we need to start quickly we need to play in their half we know they're going to come at us um, you know I was contemplating on whether to maybe bring Hannibal off at half time because you know I know he was he was living on the edge there and the referee had spoken to us so yeah when he made that tackle uh, second half um, after a couple of minutes I think it was the right time to bring him off but it was it was very important we started at the right tempo that second half and um, you know I think we did yeah and then to see your players put bodies on the line fight for each other to keep that clean sheet that says a lot about that dressing room and the characters in it it does and I've said from day one you know the only way we're going to do anything this season is if, if we're together and we show great um, character and, and we've got that in that dressing room you know whoever plays whoever doesn't play whoever's sub whoever's not on the bench you know everyone's in it together you know and um, that's the most important thing for me um, and uh, yeah really pleased mm. John Ruddy makes a, a huge penalty stop as well just to stop the momentum going QPR's way how big a moment was that in the second half yeah massive massive uh, massive part um, you know John's been superb hasn't he? Uh, great experience and uh, you know that's a defining moment in the second half if, if Dykesy puts that in the, in the net then it's going to be a really difficult last 10-15 minutes but that's what the big man's there for um, you know and uh, that's what he gets paid for and that's why we've got him you know and we're very lucky to have him and his experience has been second to none since he's come in. It's been a tough run of games against teams at the top end of the table and we've said after each one of them you've gone toe to toe with all of these teams now. How much belief's in the dressing room after that? Yeah, the belief's been there from day one. I, I, you know, I promise you, the results haven't haven't really been there for the first six or seven games. But you know that that belief certainly has because I think the performances were good. Um, you know, so as the season goes on now, we're managing to pick more wins up, which is really pleasing. But um, I've said from day one, you know, this is we're work in progress here. You know, we take each game as it comes. Uh, we want to be competitive in every game we play, and it's really important that we don't get carried away with the with the ups and we don't get too low with the. The, the defeats, you know, so we just keep a level head, everyone keeps uh, working hard and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Over 19,000 here at St Andrews tonight on a Friday night under the lights on TV, they make a hell of a difference, don't they? Oh, they're brilliant, brilliant. Um, you know, what a fantastic, fantastic atmosphere it was here tonight at St Andrews, you know, as I say from the first minute, excuse me, <coughs> first minute, you know, they really got us, they got us the goal, they really put, they, they brought that goal into the net really, you know, with the way they were singing and whatnot. And what was really pleasing at the end when we were playing UB40 and Food for Four, you know, what a great atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Another Birm a fantastic Birmingham um, uh, band, mm -hmm. you know, and it's that connection I want at this club, you know, get that pumped out, get the fans enjoying coming to St Andrews again and uh, I promise you everyone's committed, everyone wants to work hard and uh, you know I want the fans to be proud of this football club again. Back here on Wednesday night to do it all over again against Mill, how much are you looking forward to that one? 
Yeah, again, we take each game as it comes. It's going to be a really difficult game. They're an excellent team, fantastic manager, really tough team to play against. So, you know, we'll we'll, we'll approach it in the same way. We'll have a game plan, but, you know, we're, we'll be ready and um, committed. Thanks as always, Gaffer. Thank you.